Tie down your hogs, cause it's ambush time. Hey there, one, the South Cow playing. Reacting to trailers and receiving gifts. It's just like the most consumerist thing in the universe, but it's December. You can't escape it. So we got four offerings today. One of them looking like some high quality from old Yipples. Uh, that's right, finally, the great toilet simulator. My most favorite game, uh, Happy Pooping, You Owe Me Doggo. Straight and to the point, I appreciate it. Great Toilet Simulator is a first person indie horror telling you the story of a man who has his car broken on his way home in the middle of a thick forest. What makes the situation even worse is that the main character is really in need of a toilet. Man, that's just so relatable. <laughs> Okay, I mean, you know what? Sure, look at that sweet, low-poly toilet. Where's that, Twitter? All right, I mean, I have to accept that. It's the law. Now it's part of my inventory. I can't help it. I can play it now. Wait, does it just, like, automatically install? How did that go? Whoa, voice, voice, voice. Calm down. Calm down. You know what? I think today I'm going to take a break from all other recordings. I'll make a tiny little video after that. Or maybe I can just cut this. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to re-upload this, cut this from the... Blah, 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 blah. So you can, as you can hear, my voice is doing things today. I'm not recording any video game gameplay today. Thank you for your understanding. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So, back to reality. Uh, Rao Cow, up there is a thing, says Fusion Warrior. Yeah, check it out. There's Laser Cat. It's Laser Cat. Ah, that, that cat. That cat is up to no good. Down, dodge, and explore in the search for your owl friend who has been kidnapped by Wizard, the magic space frog. Wow, all, just all the top animals being represented in Laser Cat. Explore Wizard's castle, avoid nasty enemies, find the keys, and solve trivia questions to free a friend. What a, what a string of activities here. Yeah, see, it's normally add to my library. There we go. Oh, no, then it's playing. I don't know. I guess I never noticed how the Steam window looked like before while you're selecting your stuff. Belmore, the other Finnish brother. Because, yeah, so the main, the main, the main event today... Uh, was with uh, Mecha Fire, and he has a brother. His name on the internet is Belmore. Mary Kaumas, Rao the Human, have at the a computerized, largely text-based RPG. Kaboom, Belmore. So that is like way off of my comfort zone with Citizen Sleeper, which, by the way, unrelated to anything. I had like my best sleep I've had in ages last night. I went to bed around eleven. I got up at like. 9.30 this morning. Uh, I think that's a really good sign in me, like, just kind of getting back into being normal. It's just my voice that's being a bother. Citizen Sleeper, role-playing in the ruins of interplanetary capitalism, lived the life of an escaped worker washed up on a lawless station at the edge of an interstellar society. Inspired by the flexibility and freedom of... Explore the station, choose your friends, escape your past, and change your future. Wow, so I'm not sure how you video game up the flexibility and freedom of a tabletop RPG. I know a lot of people have tried. There's one person who has tried. I wonder how it, how it went, how it goes. I mean, I can just play the game and find out if I wanted to. That's a really cool, just like, box art, though. Like, what's going on here is really sweet. All right, well, it's mine now. It is part of the things that I owe. Oh, there's Micklefire. Oh, cow. I realize I didn't write any kind of letter to go with my gift. That's right. I got two boxes from you. And I, I was very happy about those boxes. Oh, well. Anyway, here's a game that's not really a game, but Gamified Niceness. Peter Hoska. Micklefire. Kind words, lo-fi chill beats to write to. That, that is, that is a funny name, if anything. Kind words, a game about writing nice letters to real people. Write and receive encouraging letters in a cozy room. Trade stickers and listen to chill music. 
We're all in this together. Sometimes all you need are, not, are a few night. <laughs> Starting over. Sometimes all you need are a few kind words. I wanted to put nice in there. Nice is a fun adjective that people should hear more often. That's my hot take. So it's not really a game, but it's a game. It's like one of those like more like experience games, I guess, kind of words. Sounds like you write t stuff and then you receive stuff and uh, you, you don't necessarily know who, what, what for. Well, we're doing trailers, so in order. <laughs> I was shocking surprised that great toilet simulator would have a very easy trailer to find all right it's dark it's very spooky this is a horror game after all Ooh. oh geez man that is spooky that is I'm just gonna say it what's a fox when you hear the video game name, <laughs> Great Toilet Simulator, this is not the trailer <laughs> I was expecting. Really? That's the whole trailer? That's funny. Oh, that is, that is extremely funny. Okay. All right. That's pretty good. All right. Well, hope you got what you wanted from that. I want to laugh so much, but I cannot, as I will instantly die if I do. So, all right, so what we got here, Laser Cat, right. Again, like the name feels like it cut, might be pretty generic, but it's not. Like I found it immediately. Yeah, Wizard. Uh, oh, that is some lo-fi graphics to platform to. This is looking like a pretty rad Flash game. I don't mean that in a pejorative sense. I mean that in a, no, yeah, like that's what they're going for. Like they're going for it. Like, oh yeah, this is like old style platformer. Like, like Atari style, where you have like one screen levels with, uh, with like the name of the level. Oh, and you have a huge map. Oh, this guy, uh, this game is speaking to me. Go home, laser cat. That's right. Come to my home. Where, if you like Saints Row the Third. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't make me laugh, it's a crime. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, that's Eris, right? Wow, I I enjoy the sheer uh, confidence in this trailer of showing relatively like slow gameplay, but very honest gameplay while just having a whole bunch of quotes. But yeah, that I feel like is the the best the best kind of trailer. Show what a game is like. Show some gameplay. Add a few quotes. Don't get mired in mechanics. Don't assume things about the lore that I may or may not be interested. That is like, yeah, the ideal form of a trailer. So, Laser Cat gets it from the channel Daniel McFarlane. I'm guessing it's your game. I, I have no idea. But that was pretty cool. Like, yeah, it's another cat game joining the bucket. Citizen Sleeper. I don't know what is this going to be. All right, well, we'll premiere a while ago, though. Up, Ooh, frame rate. Dreaming again. Well, this looks pretty rad, Every just in terms of like... Take your chances. You roll your dice. Oh, actual die roll? You do the work, get paid, survive. You I'm not gonna lie. Friends. Rolling die is my least favorite part of TTRPGs. Not like, I mean, rolling a die is fun, but when you got a good plan and it gets ruined because die says no, like that just always feels bad. Your body is dying. Planned obsolescence. As an ARP's gift for its escaped workers. But we can fight this. You can remake yourself here. 
they don't own you anymore. Not gonna lie. I'm still not sure I understand what's the game. You are hunted. Like, there's some fantastic art direction though. Like both the 3D parts of the world and like all the all the line art for like the cutscene, like all of that looks fantastic. Like the um, the vibe itself is absolutely fantastic. I don't know if it's a type of gameplay I would gel in, but I definitely gel with the aesthetics, if anything. It does look really interesting. Like I, I cannot I cannot unsay that. Why would I? There's no reason to. Alright, kind words to chill. Right words. Wow. English is good from me. Look at that cat pillow. So clearly this is made in response to like lo-fi beats to study to or whatever. And that's a really cool postal giraffe. What are you doing here? Hey there. And they're going through some rough stuff. And it's okay to feel down. Just know you're not alone. That's something I need to hear every once in a while. I'm glad you reached out and I hope this letter helps. Yours, Kindred Spirit. I feel like this would be the whole LP. If I were to LP this, can you even LP this? I don't even know really sure what it is. Well, you're in a big cube and you're writing a note and then someone else writes you. Ah, uh, lo-fi chill beats though. When are they not great, right? The footage isn't centered in its footage rectangle. Why is that? No, I think it's just that the window is weird in my window, window, window. Got it! Oh man. Today's a day of just fantastic vibes, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of like rocking with myself here. I just kind of want to close my eyes and lose myself to the world. I mean, nothing's stopping me.